School's out for the summer, so why are some drivers still getting tagged by school speed zone cameras? The cameras should now be turned off after lawmakers axed this controversial program. It was nearly two years ago when Governor Cuomo first signed legislation allowing school zone cameras to be used. The cameras went live in January 2020, and then in May of this year, lawmakers voted to remove them. The moratorium passed in June, which means the cameras will come down on September 1st. But some drivers tell our Hannah Bueller tickets are still coming. What's going on with the Buffalo School Speed Zone cameras? I don't have answers to a lot of these questions. People continue to get tickets. The cameras were supposed to be non-operational after a common council vote to stop using the cameras was sent to the mayor's office. This was back in late May. Council member Rashid Wyatt says as of June 15th, they were to be turned off and not ticketing. But council members say Buffalo neighbors and visitors are still getting tickets. People should not be getting tickets. Liam McMahon, who lives in the Elmwood Village, tells me he just got one in the mail. Well, I was very surprised to get it um, because I had thought that the cameras had been turned off. McMahon's speeding ticket was marked for June 24th, a week and two days after the cameras were supposed to be switched off. So I am frustrated. Yeah, I wish it were clear what I have to do when you know, when are, when are these speed limits in place and when, because I just want to drive the speed limit, I'd like to know. School is also out for the summer. It's unclear if the cameras are still ticketing. I was also confused because no indicators were turned on. I've never seen them turned on, actually. Parking Commissioner Kevin Halfer was supposed to join the Buffalo Common Council meeting on Tuesday. Is Commissioner Halfer here? Mr. Chairman, Commissioner Helfer is not on the call. There's been some uh, mixed wires in getting him to this meeting. However, he has uh, said that he would be available for caucus or the next legislation meeting. So council members say their constituents are still left in limbo. Desire is for those cameras to come down. We reached out to the city for more clarification and are waiting to hear back. The city is also being sued by residents claiming the program was illegal and dangerous. They're looking to have their fees refunded in court and are waiting for a judge's decision. Now, I just heard back from Parking Commissioner Kevin Helfer late this afternoon, who tells me he was not invited to today's Zoom meeting. He says currently there is one operating camera on Bailey Avenue across the street from a daycare, and he says his guidance is that the cameras stop ticketing on September 1st. But Council Member Wyatt, who I just got off the phone with moments ago, says the legislation that was passed states that the cameras should go off when the amendment was passed. That would have been June 15th, and that the cameras should not be ticketing at a daycare anyways, only a school. So there seems to be a little bit of miscommunication and confusion between the city of Buffalo and the Buffalo Common Council. We're live in the newsroom. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.